Hi everyone, I'm Shelly and you're watching There's No Place Like Home. I'm back with another question in the narrative video and today's topic is Yellowstone structures, geology or biology. This is going to be one of those videos where I don't come to a conclusion. And you know, that's not really the point of my question the narrative videos. They're really about asking questions. Now, sometimes I will see enough evidence that points in one direction that I will pretty conf confidently say that I, I might know what something is or I have a very good guess at what something is, but this is not one of those times. People will often send me photos that they've taken while they're out traveling, and I love looking at them. And Dominique shared some photos with me of when she was at Yellowstone. I'm just going to share her email. It says, Hi, Shelly. Thanks so much for responding with your email. I'm a native Texan, and I love to travel. I've been keeping my eyes open to strange things for quite some time now. We decided to take our girls to Yellowstone over July 4th. We were at Calcite Springs in the northern part of Yellowstone on Friday and went on a hike. I was admiring the beautiful waterfall and Yellowstone River that was winding and rushing through the valley it created, and then looked up across the way and noticed the odd column structures all along the ridge line that stretched out at the same height for thousands of feet, maybe more. They looked geometric to me, similar to Devil's Tower. I've read that some believe the Devil's Tower is actually made up of plant structures and not lava columns, which is what I believe. I visited Devil's Tower 20 years ago, and this ridge line in Yellowstone looked just like it. My guess is that people get so enamored with the falls and rushing river that they barely look up to see the strange formations above, right across from them. The ridge line is about the same height and flat all the way across, and then underneath the columns you can see what looks like the bulging root system, at least to me. We got back to the car and started to drive south again. A little bit further down the road, I had my husband stop the car and do a turnaround because I saw some unusual structures on the cliff wall to my right. This wall seemed similar to the structures that I mentioned in the post that I that are in, I believe, Australia. And I'm just going to interject here. I don't remember off the top of my head what that post was. The ground and wall have eroded away beneath and strange geometric column structures can also be seen here. The side of the cliff wall also has a very strange texture compared to everything else I saw in the park. Let me know what you think. Have a wonderful day. And again, this is from Dominique. I didn't want to share her full name just because I wasn't sure how she would feel about that. But let's take a look at these photos that she shared. So this is what she is talking about are these column structures that stretch across for, for thousands of feet, she said, at least. And at first glance, when I look at this, you know, of course, mainstream science is going to tell us it's geology. And, you know, it, it might be. However, when I look at it, it, it does look like it used to be, at least, biological. I'm thinking maybe part of a tree system or, like Dominique said, maybe a plant. It also reminds me very much of a wall, which, you know, you never know because there are so many people who believe that what we see as geology are also melted structures. So the reason that I'm really sharing these photos with you today is because I would love to get your opinion on what you, you think these, these are. And you will see a, a better idea of just how long this stretches on for in some of the other photos. So this, here we go. This is actually it right here. So you can see... Obviously, this didn't capture thousands of feet, but it does show you, first of all, how rather small these are in comparison to the rest of the cliff. But it also gives you a really good idea of how even it seems to be across. And yeah, again, to me, it really does remind me of a wall of some sort. And I'm probably way off the mark, but... That's at least what that makes me think of. Now, down here, this Dominique said that 
uh, it reminds her of a root system. And it, I actually find it to be similar to things that I see here where I live all the time. And I've shared photos like this before. It's not exactly the same because obviously things are going to be different over here in Pennsylvania. But I'll share with you what I'm talking about and I think you'll get an idea. This is actually the thumbnail photo of another video that I did a while back, but it was the best photo that I could find to share with you here. So obviously it's not, it's not exactly the same as what I just shared with you from Dominique, but I think what it does show is that there is now in Dominique's case, it is at the bottom of a cliff, whereas this is at the underside of what many people will call a mountain. I believe they're actually spoil tips, and I've talked about that in some other videos. I don't think the mountains, at least here around me, are natural. I believe that they are all from mining. However, I do believe that many of them have old, ancient, gigantic trees at the bottom of them. And this is what you will find at the bottom of many of these mountains. And as you can see, most people will tell you that's geology, but when I look at that, I certainly see something that was tree related biological so here is another view and that is absolutely beautiful it's i would love to visit there someday um but there is again what looks to be some sort of possibly root system or some sort of again i'm going to say petrified wood and then we have now look at this it's all the way down here and it goes all the way across here and again i can't get over how even it is i see one is hoping i can see i don't know if it stops here and then starts back up again let me see yeah i don't know if maybe some of it fell down here because it's not you know even across like it is with the rest of it but yeah, I would love to know what you all think. And even when you look here underneath this, you can see peeking out from, from behind this, I don't know what it is, if it's dirt or sand, I'm not really sure, but you can also see again, what does seem to me at least to be petrified wood. So, you know, there are so many things that this could be. Yeah, it could be geological structures. I believe it could be plant structures like Dominique said i think it could be tree related or again who knows it could be a, a wall or related to some sort of um what many people will call melted building this doesn't particularly look melted but i don't know it it's it's really interesting to say the least and these are, I believe these are the pictures that Dominique said she asked her husband to turn around and, and go back so she could look at them. And she, this is what she sees the, uh, geometric shapes in them. And, you know, we, we do know that nature does favor hexagons. So I'd be interested. I would love to like, just walk underneath them and just see it, how many of them are actually hexagons there. But I'll tell you what that does remind me of. That reminds me of another photo that I have taken here. Again, not going to be exactly the same, but similar. Now what Dominique shared is on a much larger scale than what I have here. But if you look over here, that's kind of what I'm thinking of when it looks, when, when I look at Dominique's picture. And I'm just wondering if this would be bigger, what those would look like if they would have those hexagonal, hexagonal forms also when, when you are standing underneath them. Uh, yeah, and you can tell, obviously, this isn't even close to being as large as what Dominique is sharing. But again, so we have this one here, and then I will share the one from Dominique. So I'm, I'm hoping that you can at least see, see the similarity that I'm talking to. To me, that it almost looks like this is an old bark of a tree, and that this is just kind of the, the bark breaking away. That's what it reminds me of. Again, I'm certainly not saying that I'm correct, but when I look at it, that's, that's what I think of. And that's the same form here. You see that again. And yeah, when you look at it, 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 it to me looks like the bark of a tree. 
and this could just be breaking off. It's like splintering away. And what is being exposed is what is underneath the bark in that tree. And there is more of that right there. So anyway, that's, that's really all that I wanted to share with you today. I just found these really interesting and I would love to hear what some of you have to say about what you think this might be. So just leave a comment. I look forward to reading it. Anyway, that's all that I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and would like to hear more of what I have to say, I would love if you would do that. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave one right here. Um, underneath the video. And if you like my work and would like to support my page, I will leave a link in the description box for my channel membership, or you can just click on it right on my YouTube feed. And I hope you have a great day.